We're here at the European Business Summit, putting Europe back on track. What is your feeling? What should be the biggest priority in Europe when it comes to restoring the European economy? I think the number one objective should be to create opportunities for more things to be done collectively within Europe. Right now, it's not clear what is federated, what is done together, and what is an individual country opportunity. So I think a lot of opportunity is wasted by that confusion. So I think Europe should pick a couple of key areas and really focus on them and really agree to do them collectively. There are a lot of ambitions coming out of Brussels, especially out of the European Commission, European Parliament, but it seems to get stuck at the member state level. What do you think can be done to unblock that? I think it has to be a decision by all the member states to say, we're going to focus on X, Y, Z. Uh, the example was given before, avionics and mobile telephony was an area where Europe really acted together and has created tremendous success stories. So I think there's a need for understanding which areas of Europe will focus on which things. The creation of clusters, for example. And we've been saying this now for four years, that I've been coming to the EBS. So as I said at the press conference, I think now is the time for action. So what should be done to, to establish these clusters? What type of things are we talking about? Can you elaborate a little bit about that? Well, I think, for example, clean tech is, is, is a wonderful example. There are great things going on in terms of investment in technology and in innovation in clean tech around Europe. But I think we should, rather than have that be very much dispersed, I think Europe should decide, well, we're going to have that centered in this particular region and we're going to consolidate a bit our investment and we're really going to create enablers for that region to develop this technology and to compete. One of the other critical things is the need for a European-wide patent. That is something that's been on the table for a while, and that's something I think the Commission can act upon and really get done quickly. Let's elaborate a little bit on this clean technology cluster. What, what concretely would you envisage for that? Would there be a region in Europe where all these companies would come together, or could that be a cross-border cluster? Well, I think you could center it around universities that are doing particular research in this area and having some success and encourage companies to form up around them. And really, it, it was mentioned in the opening plenary that there are 58 technological zones in China. These are places where they have said, okay, here we're going to do uh, this particular technology. We're going to do biotech. We're going to, that's what is needed in and around Europe. And I think there's plenty to go around. It just has to be that all 58 aren't done by each of the 27 member states. Ideally, what would you like to see happen in Europe in the next uh, four or five years? Well, I think the key decision is, are we going as Europe to work collectively or are we going to continue to work on a nationalistic basis? If that decision is not made, and it doesn't have to be made across the board, but it should be made in a couple of key areas as we've talked about here. That's what I would love to see emerge over the next really two years and then get executed upon beyond that. Mr. Brian, thanks very much.